Hey coach, thanks for coming out to lunch. Look, I just got to talk to you really quick. I knew this season would be a very tall task. I mean, to be honest, not a very talented roster. All the odds were stacked against you. But this week is different. I know we just played Clemson, Alabama State. Yeah, that was a bad loss. But this is Pensacola week. We need to defeat them because I have a lot of important people coming into town to see this game. I need to impress them. I got to show them that we are building a winner here. So this time, let's show them what we got. Let's put up a good fight. Hopefully come with the win. I believe in you. I believe in this team. I know what you can do. Let's go out and get it done. Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And welcome back to the Coco Beach Dynasty here on NCAA 09 on the PS2. Now, we are preparing for this week. And honestly, in game prep, we looked very, very good. And I am very, very surprised at that because usually game prep is very difficult. But I think we're starting to turn a corner now. I think our guys are really, really starting to show up in practice. I hopefully it transfers over to the game. Now, Caesar Winston, four for 20 to start this year. It's not pretty at all. We only have five completions in two games. I mean, it's just that hard. But we'll see what we can do. I do want to get the other quarterbacks involved some more. But going up against Pensacola, they're a pretty good team. I don't think they're as good as Clemson. But I think we have a shot to at least stay in it. And Michael Miller is their leading rusher and passer so far. Now, this team is filled up with you guys. So when you guys submit recruits, don't do it now. This episode, it will come later in the season. But you guys will either be on Coco Beach or Pensacola, the Pelicans. And honestly, this is going to be a very heated game as well. A big time rivalry here in the state of Florida. We'll have to see how this game goes. So we are on the road for the first time here in this rivalry. Can we get it done? Here is the opening kickoff as we kick off rivalry week four, the Cocoa Beach Rockets. And here is Bogue already taking it back to the house. It's a touchdown for the Pelicans. How about this opening sequence for our rivals? Already taking it back for a score and the Pelicans strike first. It's now seven to nothing. So here is Caesar Winston. After a good week of practice, he's going to hand off. And that time, it is going to be Wilson Caesar Jr. on the carry, picking up a gain of two yards. So under center once again this time. Winston throws left side, and it's going to be picked off. Slightly underthrown. Glapsy does take advantage of that. It looks like the pressure may have gotten to Caesar on that one. Caesar Winston, that is. And he throws an interception, maybe slightly underthrown. So here we are now down 7-0. Here is Miller, and he keeps it on the option. Nice tackle by Taylor Jett. So second and nine this time. They're going to hand off this time to Brooklyn Pickett. He's got space. He breaks the tackle, and he's got speed. Touchdown. He's one of the fastest running backs in the conference. Brooklyn Pickett, he takes it all the way in. His first carry of the game goes 27 yards. And already the Pelicans are up 14 to nothing. So now down by two scores, Caesar Winston throws to the right side. A little screen pass set up for Wilson Caesar Jr. And he picks up about a gain of four yards. So at our own 26 this time, Winston has time. Nobody to throw it to, though. And he doesn't have speed. He can't get away. It's a sack by Eiler. And now it brings it to a third and long. Let's see if our offense can get anything done here. As now we have to punt the ball away. So now here we are back out on special teams. Here's Furman getting the kickoff, and he takes it all the way back. It's a touchdown. Two kick returns for touchdowns. I guess one is a punt return, one is a kick return. On that last sequence, I didn't realize that was a third down on that play. And we took the sack and then punted it away. 21 nothing. So here is Caesar Winston on the play action fake and another sack. This has been pretty much our Achilles heel so far. Our offensive line doesn't give us any time to throw the ball. We get hit on every throw and we can't complete catches. There is Christian Smoke, the tight end, and he can't hold on to that one. Another drop pass. You got to help out the quarterback. 
So Winston now from the pocket. He gets sacked and puts it on the turf. Eiler picks it up, and it's a turnover. This game, ugly in the first quarter. Oh, my goodness. This is terribly difficult here. We cannot do anything. Offensive line has to be a priority in recruiting. So now here is Miller out back at quarterback here for a third and go at the 11. Miller throws to the end zone almost interception, uh, intercepted. It looks like Nighthawk was there as well. So here is Winston, a quick throw on a slant, and he fits it in a tight space that time, and that's Angelo West with a six-yard catch. So now third and two at our own 28 this time. Winston has a couple of people to throw to. He throws at the last second. And it's knocked away. Angelo West was the intended target. So it's now 24-0. We, we just got to go for it. I mean, there's no point of not going for it. Here's a throw to the right side, and Christian Smoke drops another one. I mean, this is just insane. Whenever we get a good throw, it's a drop. And most of the time, it's just bad blocking. It's now Pensacola takes back over. And here is Miller. Doing what he wants with this offense. He's scrambling, throwing the ball, hand the ball off to Brooklyn Pickett. Is here's Pickett right next to him. Let's see if they give it to him. They do. Pickett cuts back. He has space, and he gets inside the 10-yard line, tackled by Taylor Jett. But it looks like Brooklyn Pickett is shaking up on that play as well. So they get it to the four-yard line here for a third and goal. Here is Miller running the option, and he keeps it himself. It's a touchdown. I mean, they are just pouring on. Probably worse than Alabama State did. Probably worse than Clemson did. This game isn't even close. It's 31-0. We still have four minutes left here in the second quarter. So here's a throw across the middle, and that is a tight window throw, and that is caught by Angelo West. Gain of 10. So now here we are at our own 35 handoff. Caesar had some space, but that hole closed up quickly. And now that brings it to the 36-yard line here for a second and nine. Takahashi checks in, and he can't get away from the pressure. They send the blitz, the cover zero blitz, 31 to nothing here. Loss of five yards, third and 14. Winston back in the game, and he gets hit on the throw. What's new? Tipped around and picked off by Van. And wow, another turnover here in this game. It just does not look pretty. So here we start the second half down by 31. Here's Angelo West, and he just gets lit up on that kick return. And you can just see we don't even have over zero total yards. Because of all the sacks, that actually does add to your total in yards. So now we're buying 31 and don't even have a yard of total yardage. Here's a first throw of the day to the right side. Picked off. Glover, touchdown. I mean, that is just the story of this season. We just don't have the athletes. We don't have the arm of the quarterback. We don't have the accuracy. We don't have anything. It is now 52 to nothing as we fast forward on to the fourth quarter. So here's Takahashi. He gets hit on the throw incomplete. Takahashi once again. Look at the pressure. Just right up the middle, right into Takahashi. It is now third and 10 at our own 20. Let's see if we can just throw up a prayer here. Takahashi under center. A little bit of time. He throws to the right side. He had a man and incomplete. Just could not make the accurate throw. And now it's fourth and 10 here. Let's just see what we can do on this play. This could be the game. Play action fake. Takahashi throws left side. And he's got Angelo West. Finally. That is the biggest pass of the season so far it goes for about 20 something yards it's a first down close to the 50. so here we are at our own 48 quick throw and it's another one avery white's got it back to back first downs that's something to celebrate here in this dynasty to be honest and now here we are at their 42 now takahashi moves to the right side he's got a man he throws on the run and it's just absolutely overthrown picked off by lawrence and that is going to do it. I mean, that was just a bad throw on that play. And to be honest, it may have been kind of easy. I mean, it's on the run. Just throw it underneath. 80 is right there. That's Christian Smoke. And he just airmails it. I don't know how he airmailed that pass. But we end up losing this game in a rivalry. 
This is not going to look good on the athletic director at all. I'm pretty sure he is shaking his head up in the booth. We lose a huge one this time, and it's to our rivals. So that makes it even worse. The running back will be hurt. Brooklyn Pickett, he was only hurt for the game. I guess good for them. But Takahashi did at least pass the ball well. 76 yards passing in this one off of those couple of big plays. And we also ran the ball for the most yards we've run so far in this series. And I'm not too mad at the outcome as far as yardage goes. I mean, it's progress. It's terrible, but it's progress. Four for 64, Angelo West. We definitely want to get him more involved. He is the quickest guy. I just want to see him get the ball in space. I mean, honestly, even slant patterns like you saw in that game, little drag routes, you know, little crossing routes. That's kind of what he's going to do because if he's quick, he's going to get the ball and have, you know, a little bit of burst to get some yardage. Well, we end up losing that game. And just going into the next week, I mean, we're 0-3. It's not looking good as we face the Wisconsin State Whitetails. And just looking at our offense, we're pretty much dead last in pretty much every ranking, to be honest. Defense, we're actually not too bad. We obviously give up a lot of big plays, but at least we're not last. I mean, I mean, there's that. But we only have one sack total on the season. That will land us probably tied for at least second to last. But just looking at other stats here, this is one thing I like about this game. They have stat rankings where you can actually see, like, what percentages – uh, you know where, what you're ranking on certain percentages certain analytics that you know usually don't see in you know football games today now we have our first player infractions now remember in these old games your players can get suspended we are actually already have our center that's suspended bodyford but now ladavian richendaller the true freshman did not show up for voluntary workouts and he's gonna have to be suspended for two games now remember you have points you get towards suspensions and looks like Larry Pruitt also missed practice as well so he'll get two games now I don't want to exhaust too many points on these suspensions but we do need to do two things conserve our points we have 33 left just in case we have more players that do get suspended also we need to make sure the NCAA stays off of our back because otherwise we will get a bowl ban or conference championship ban or scholarship bans as well so now we go up into this matchup versus the Wisconsin State Whitetails, and this is going to be a very, very tough game. Another tough team on the schedule we're facing here early on, and we just want to honestly score. We have not scored yet at all. Not a field goal, not a touchdown, not a safety, nothing. So we just have our work cut out in this one. They are quarterbacked by Justin DiRoberto Jr. now. And remember, Justin Yerberto was our quarterback in the Wisconsin State Whitetails dynasty. Now we face his son here. And this is going to be interesting. You know, he's going to be a guy that's going to be a dual threat guy. I have zero expectations for this game because they are one of the best rated teams in the game right now. And they have a ton of weapons. This is going to be very, very tough on both offense and defense. But I think that, you know, we're starting to turn a corner, to be honest. We're starting to complete some passes, starting to get some yardage, starting to get some long plays. You saw West had four for 60 last week. So I guess it's something to build off of going on the road into Green Bay. Let's see if we can get it done. Here is the second game of this doubleheader. Let's get it underway. As here is Johnson back to receive the opening kickoff. He cuts it upfield, and he's got nothing but space, and he takes it up the middle for a touchdown that is back to back games we allow opening kickoff touchdowns returned and now we are down seven nothing just the same thing as last week so out comes our offense this time this is bernardo takahashi at quarterback it looks like coach jay is going with a little bit of a change his first throw is to caesar jr he drops that one across the middle so now that brings it to a third and 10 play action fake. Takahashi throws in the traffic and it is knocked away. The pressure was getting right to him and he got rid of it just in time, but an early punt. So here is DiRoberto Jr. out at quarterback for the Whitetails. He's going to take it to the right side, a little bit of a mobile quarterback. He takes it for about a gain of nine yards, tackled by Phoenix Frazier Jr. So another option this time, pitching it to Tobert Jr., this is a big tank of a guy, six foot four running back. That is Tobert. He runs out of bounds. 
So you can already see a couple of you guys that are subscribers are assigned to the White Tails as well. And you guys will mostly be assigned to Pensacola and Cocoa Beach, but also the White Tails are in the mix. He's throw to the right side, and that is going to be caught and out of bounds, but we do get them to settle for three points. So I'll take that as a win. So down 10, nothing. This is Takahashi. He throws the left side, one on one, and Caesar Jr. drops it. That was going to be a big play. It looked like we had nothing but green in front of us. All we had to do was catch the ball and just run. So here on a third down, quick throw, and the pressure was right there in a hurry. Our guys have barely any time to run their routes. And another punt for this offense. So here's Tolbert on the next drive, and a nice tackle by Nighthawk in the backfield. So Vincent Showcross is actually hurt going into this game. Here's a dump off pass to Tolbert as Nighthawk gets the start in this one. And a lot of different injuries, different infractions, causing guys to miss games as we do get them to settle for a long field goal. And their kicker is going to the NFL. He hits that one. It's now 13 to nothing. So here's Takahashi backing onto the field. He starts it out by rolling to the right side, trying to direct traffic, and he just steps out of bounds. Only a loss of one, though. So now at our 19, this time a quick throw, and it's going to be caught. Avery White coughs it up, and it's picked up by the White Tails. I'm not really sure if his knee was down or not, but we go to challenge it. And I can't really tell from that angle, but it looks like it will be reversed. So the drive will continue. So third and eight this time at our 22. This time Winston back into the game. He throws across the middle. It's Drakkett who had it, but then dropped it. I mean, what can you say about this team when we make the decent throws? They're still dropped. So here's DiRoberto back onto the field. Quick throw, and that's going to be the dollar, and that will be about a gain of three yards to the tight end. So here's Tolbert, another handoff, and that is Ryan Walker playing some defense on the outside. Nice stop in the backfield on the bigger running back, Tolbert. And we get them to try to kick another long field goal. This one's from 55, 56 yards. And the field goal is up. And their kicker absolutely nails it. That is Davis who knocks it through. It's 16-0. At least this isn't a bigger lead than the last couple of games in the second quarter. But here on the first play of the next drive, lucky bounce. Takahashi fumbles that one. It fumbles out of bounds. Loss of eight yards. Second and 18 this time, Takahashi trying to get away from the pressure. It's a sack, another loss of 10 yards. So we don't get it on third down, forcing a punt here as we kick it away. And this is going to be Johnson once again back to receive this kickoff. Here he is making a man miss, and he has nothing but end zone in front of him. Touchdown, kickoff return, and a punt return once again. I mean, this is the second time this has happened in this series so far. So can we just, like, get a first down at this point? I mean, I'm just losing faith in this team right now, but we need to keep fighting. We might have to switch it up, do something different. I'm not sure what it is. Here's a throw to the right side, picked off by Workman. Takahashi tries to make the tackle and gets absolutely blown up trying to make the stop. Bad throw, and then it just makes it worse when you get hit like this. I mean, that is just incredible. And now we're down 30 to nothing here at the end of the first half. It's still not halftime yet. Here's Winston into the game. He gets hit on the sack. And wow, this has just been embarrassing. One more shot here. This is still not a halftime. Third and 20. Here's Takahashi back into the game. Wisconsin State sends the blitz. We just aired it deep and picked off. That time, it's more. And that one is all we're really going to cover in this game. It was just not close from start to finish. And we don't even really even need to cover the second half. It just wasn't close at all. Takahashi did get a start in this game. And I got to say, it wasn't much better than what Winston Caesar, or Caesar Winston did for us at quarterback. And quite honestly, I don't know where we go from here. I mean, we have the freshman quarterback, uh, Ron Drell Bamaye, he's still there. I'm not sure I want to kind of stunt his growth, ruin his career, you know, hurt his confidence going forward. I'm very, very hesitant to put him in the game and just kind of stunt his growth there. 
But you never know. It, it could be a um, situation where all of a sudden he's just our better quarterback on the roster, our best quarterback on the roster. You never know, but I guess – all options are on the table at this point. I mean, what do we have to lose? There's nothing really shining right at about now at about this team. It's just crazy. I mean, this is just game in, game out. We are getting destroyed. Well, we take a break in the action to talk about recruiting next episode with the season one recruiting special as we t- take a look at high schools in Florida for the first time. Also, some Even in Wisconsin, we'll have to see. And, you know, I'm really excited for this series because I get to cover high school football for the first time. So that is going to be a different type of look to this series, different from our other ones. So we will have to see how that goes. So hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. Wave. I'm in it for keepsake, in the field with the cleat lace. Beat foot with the bare face and a slick tie, that's what she say. She look good, she a big tease when she bite lip with the weak face. Hella bad when she throwing it back, she bring out my way for the team play. For Pete's sake, I'm above average, I'm padding my stack. I got a matter what he say. I'm